Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Obama Aduma Bariti. Amen. Have you ever thought of it? What are the things that make you look cheap? Ready? Well, um, I'm going to give you only four things, but it covers everything. It covers everything. So pay attention to it. Number one, every man looks extravagant, looks rich, looks respected, unless you do some things. The first thing that makes you look cheap as a man is your mannerism. Okay? Provided you've gone for a dinner party, a funeral, a wedding, and you go, you've eaten, they've given you meat on the food, you eat the food, eat the meat, and chew the bones into tatas and put everything in the plate. Everyone now knows that no, this man is a hungry man. You are not going to get that respect that you got at the beginning. It makes you look cheap poor and lurking in tattered penury number two is your dressing you are always addressed the way you dress so mind you you can say you have bright future you have inner beauty it is not inner beauty people see when they see you they see out her beauty what you put on yourself your cologne your outfit your shoes your cap your glasses whatever you have on that is what defines you at the point people see you okay so do not keep this quote um appearances are deceptive don't just keep these quotes and think that it is well to do everything but in your mind you are a gentleman no you don't dress in your mind you dress outwardly for people to see you okay so just as you were going for interviews and you'd have to dress well you have to dress properly and look good that is how you should actually look in real life okay however you want to be seen outside it should be seen everywhere look at your tie it should always be in the middle of your shirt it shouldn't be at the half side the left or the right side or sometimes around your neck having your tie around your neck actually shows that you are careless people read into that and they know that you are not serious with your outfit also with your shoes they should be always polished if not they should be clean maybe they are not black shoes or white shoes or brown shoes that you can polish but definitely if it has a material around it there is always a way to clean the shoes clean the shoes and make your shoes clean every time if you're wearing the socks it should be as its color it shouldn't be discolored also as a gentleman who lives in the 21st century where time is money you should at least get a watch around your wrist to check the time and to know even though that one is not really um a forceful thing to do it is obligatory that if you have a watch it should be a working watch <laughs> Some people just keep watches that has stopped working since 1909. Please, that is not what we look out for as women. We look out for people who are very, very cool with whatever they do and they know what they are about. So keep your watch working. Yes. So after that, we go to the hair. You are what you look like. So please, if you believe in dreadlocks, keep them very neat make them look as neat as possible as trimmed as possible as well captured as possible if you don't believe in dreadlocks and you have cut down hair sweats or punk or any type of hair make sure that it is a defined hairstyle that you have some people have hairstyles that are not defined it, it is like four hairstyles in one head that doesn't make sense to us we see you and we see that you are a confused mama yeah so you should check your outlook the third point on how to look very classy and not look poor or not look any way is when you have a book to read people put premium on people who have a big library than a big television okay so you could have 
big television you could have seen the brightest of the movies but if you don't have a bookshelf if you don't have a library that you can boast about women who are serious would not take you seriously because readers are always leaders and serious women love men who have traveled through books into the lives of people and have gained knowledge and foresight with those experiences so the next time you want to buy a big television 44 inches television 15 inches think of your shelf how big is your bookshelf do well to make it bigger and fill up the space by reading and keeping them for other people to get access to them and read last but not the least is how you correlate and relate with people people are always disturbed to realize that a gentle looking man is speaking or blurting out nonsense in court sometimes we just listen to you and we know you are deep from the bush not just the bush bush dry bush you should always tackle everyone as someone you respect someone you are shy of and someone you cannot look down on so your boss that you report to he is your boss he pays you so you cannot look down on him you respect him and you do everything to make sure that he recognizes you as one of the most respected people in his organization so why not put that into your daily activities try making everyone your boss okay always try to make everyone your boss in that manner you wouldn't try talking to anyone anyhow you might not know who you are speaking to and you might not know the impact of what you say to other people thanks for watching this video do well to subscribe if you like it give me a like and thanks to symbolic studios for this beautiful studio i'm recording in we'll meet at the flip side thank you and stay blessed bye